Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. So join us in the Western Alps and we're going to go to Col du Papillon, where we... I found a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that yet. Oh. It hasn't happened yet. That's oh, the I'm beginning sorry. of the okay. video. Okay. Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> now you already gave away. We found this GoPro here. Yeah. So um, more to that in the video. We got to do a few things now because we're leaving the EU. Yeah. First thing is we have to get gas. Fill this one first. Yeah. So when I drive the Discovery, uh -huh. I get a, at least 10 to 15 percent better gas mileage than Vera. And I got to wrap this in any chance I get. You can clearly see when I'm driving, I get a much better gas mileage than you. This is our leaving EU sticker and we got to put it right here. How much and was it? By 40 euros. So almost the first marriage crisis we lost. <laughs> we lost it in the car and it took us now how long to look for it? 15 minutes. <laughs> and on whose side was it? <laughs> on your side. You dropped it into a crevasse. It. So I even had to get the flashlight out. So we are on our way into the Western Alps which is about 600 kilometers to get from Frankfurt down to Badonecia and it takes us through Switzerland and for those of you who don't know Switzerland is not part of the EU we have to turn roaming off on our cell phones yeah most important if you forget to turn your roaming off oh my god it will cost you something in the vicinity of one euro per megabyte okay so if you for example leave roaming on and you still have your google maps running and you enter switzerland it can easily cost you 60 to 80 euros just to pass through we are now in switzerland yeah we are on the autobahn in switzerland and we've got our first fault so we're gonna better get off the autobahn here according to the iCar soft tool we have it's a brake light switch. The car, of course, lowered itself and went into limp mode. Fault is indeed the brake lamp switch. What happens is that you get contact bounds in that switch. There are two contacts inside and they have to operate synchronously. But in reality, nothing is synchronously. There's always a few milliseconds in between. And if you dangle with your foot right in that spot where both of those switch and they get 200 milliseconds of an offset in between them, it can cause this fault without having a bad switch. It's C1A96-62. All other faults are nuisance faults. So again, learn know your, your faults. faults, learn your things, so you know which one are the real ones, okay? So I cleared everything. The baby is ready to go again. We are in France now. We can turn on our cell phone again. So now we gotta pay for the first time. It's a fast night camping. We are close to Lac on a sea. Is there any coffee yet? Yes. Good. No coffee making. Payer le tarif affiché. Nine Par euros quatre. for Par 45 six. kilometers. Here is a tunnel. Yeah, you see? And we'll take, oh, barely, three and a half tons. That there's a glacier all the way behind. Here's our car with a noise. You don't know what it is. to go 
in the souvenir store, of course. That's a nice one. I like that one. 180 is like the new cheap. 68 liters and paid almost 125 euros. Perfect. He's refusing to turn on the air conditioning. It's 32 degrees outside. We are heading up to a remote mountain pass. Listen to the noise. What do you think it is? I, I bet it's CV joint. So let's see if he hears the noise. Yeah, I don't know what motivated her to get out and run this trail. You know, we are at 2,200 meters already. So that's not easy to walk out there. I love that trail. It's such a pretty area. Oh, hopefully she's not afraid of the cow. Cows. Yeah, I hear the clicking. And the sun is burning like crazy here. So we are airing down. Finally. No one else around. It's so cute. There's a tunnel to Papillon. It looks all dark here. But actually, if a vehicle would be coming from the other side, you would see the headlights. Our tannery. So you see, you can see the other side. Oh, it's all wet and dripping. the car. Maybe they are looking for a missing person or an injured person. So there's a convoy down there and I see um, emergency lights. 
you know, from an ambulance. Now the chopper is coming back or another chopper is coming. We wait here. We got a good spot. We even could rooftop tent here. I hope everything is all right. Oh my God. There's a motorcycle down there, so apparently he fell in a tight spot. Oh my god, that's really dangerous. It's actually, yeah, it's actually the first time that I've seen an accident in a really long time. So these guys set up their drone here and they're gonna let the drone follow them. How about that? This is really cool. Oh my god, that is so cool. So there's the motorcycle down there. Jeez, hopefully nobody got hurt. But if a helicopter is coming, it's usually not a good sign. gonna spend the night down there in this valley here where you see the other campus that's illegal but it's somewhat tolerated and it's already late so we're not gonna get into trouble yeah she ran the entire pass now down <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so back in the day Vera and I used to go bike and run we always had a mountain bike and then after some time we switched Today we do car and run. The big difference is we never switch. God. Someone lost his GoPro. Oh my God, it's peeping. It's still on. So, so anybody watching this video and want to claim this GoPro, GoPro, we can verify the footage on the GoPro to see if you are the owner. It must not be long ago because it's still on. Yeah. It just shut off. Okay, hopefully we find the owner and hopefully there's going to be some really cool footage on it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I found our problem here. It's fairly obvious. Look at that. That sounds like the clonking. I would guess it's the tripod joint, not the CV joint out here because it sounds like it's coming from in there and got a lot of play. But I would say as long as that boot is not broken, we got a good chance to get another thousand kilometers out of it. So what happened? Listen. Uh, we're gonna be stalled here and gonna have to camp here for at least six days. Are you done running now? No, no. Now here's the other side and that one is shot too. Suspension fault. Das darf doch alles nicht wahr sein, oder? So we are in the valley. I ran all the way down here. So that was a good run. Yeah, well, that accident was actually kind of bad. I found a GoPro. Look at our spot where we are going to put up the rooftop tent tonight. That was a good day, except for the motorcyclist. I feel really bad for him. Christian playing with his new toy. I can't change the language well, <laughs> from French to German. I already filmed something like that. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it much better. Yeah. 
This is our camp spot tonight, which is pretty neat, and we're not quite alone here. There is a group of people over there at this ruin. And there are a couple of van lifers there, probably all year round. No chance. We're not oh. going to show you what we made here for dinner. <laughs> Meat, carbs and vegetables. <laughs> so I got the GoPro recharged and I checked what's on it. It was definitely a French guy who lost it because the language was said to French. Okay. It was a gravel bike, so, so um, a bicycle. Yeah. And there are a couple of clips on there. So there might be a chance to identify him if I post his video footage on the internet. You know, so here we go. not gonna sue us oh my god yeah <laughs> but we only do it so he can get his gopro back yeah so it was lucky that vera was uh, on her run you know otherwise no chance to find this no, thing no chance. listen to that one gopro einschalten <laughs> gopro starten <laughs> it listens to german gopro stoppen and gopro ausschalten It works way better than on the DJI. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice morning view. You got coffee already? No. Oh, the water is cooking, yes. Good. Looks like we're not alone. It sounds like it's really close. See this mammoth over there? It's watching us drinking coffee. Not even our YouTube followers know how we drink coffee. And it's really close to our car. Look at this. No other overlander ever had this idea. This is absolutely genius. Because I can load all our stuff from the roof tent directly into our rooftop tent box. 
How smart is that? It only took me two years to have that idea. What is your idea? It wasn't my idea. I wonder whose idea it was. Now I can load all this stuff up here. I think it's noble price worthy. last second so that's it for this short video of our first vacation day um, and we're gonna move on to the next mountain passes which you will see maybe, maybe next Sunday or in one of the upcoming Sundays or maybe not maybe yeah. there will be a major engine failure and then we got to post well, that actually, one. We have <laughs> our drive shafts are gone so that's it that's uh, what we got this week's in this week's video yeah but I want to say we saw just about 20 what cruisers. 20? Big. It was probably 30. Yeah, and not it was a the, single it was the another brand. European what Cruiser Club. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thanks yeah. for watching and see, we'll see you next Sunday. Good, what? we got it. Yeah, we got it. The GoPro is back there because all other spots are occupied. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, see you next Sunday. Yes. GoPro stop. <laughs>